Generic greetings and welcome back once again to Airships Conquer the Skies. Today's beverage is a quite interesting and very different tomato, carrot and of all things mint smoothie. It is not too bad at all but also quite healthy so well, there you are. Either way welcome back to Airships Conquer the Skies. It's been a while hasn't it? It has been a while since we've done anything on airships whether it be building, doing the campaign, standalone mess arounds, whatever and I'll be honest the main reason why I'm jumping back on is because there's been an update as part of I'm guessing the Halloween update and we've got some new monsters to fight. In a previous Halloween update we got the shell walker which is something that I helped uh, to suggest so that was then introduced and this one I don't know where it's come from I don't know whether it's a collaboration with somebody else or whether the developers just put it in at random but either way if we go over to our missions and then three cubes we have three clockwork cubes menace the skies defeat them you have to defeat them with how many points it is 1200 points and I've not seen these in game before I've seen a, a picture of them but not seen them in game and as you can see we've got these basically floating clockwork cube things another sort of mad scientist mad engineer type of uh, affair we've got one of them up here which has got a circular saw We've got one here which has got a sort of mechanical tentacle and this one is armed with it looks like a little point but I'm fairly confident it's a laser. We can also see there's like blue bits on the bottom and on the back as well as in the centre there so bits of suspendium working away. So yeah we have to defeat these. So the shell walker when I versed that was relatively easy to fight you could ram it quite readily. This one well because of the points it says our budget is 1200 and the enemy it says 9000 so I don't know what their downsides is. Is. I have no idea if you can board them. It doesn't look like you can. Either way, we're going to go to add airship and I'm going to put in. Uh, well, we've got a goldfinch. Let's put a goldfinch in there. I'm going to put it right near the back. Actually, no, we'll just put it there because that's the minimum level and then we'll start the fight. And you can see all of these immediately light up. The tentacle is trying to get to a target, right? That is definitely armed with a laser. Uh, we can confirm that. You notice I'm not moving here because I need it uh, so I can move back because I need. Uh, well, I just need to do that. I've got on standard uh, standard fire here. I'm going to put it on... Well, I was going to put it on to aim fire, but... Uh, no, we're going to put it on a rapid fire. Because I need to get shots out as fast as possible. We are taking considerable damage. And already we've lost half our armament. There's more than half gone. To be honest, these are not a threat at all. But certainly the thing that's beaming at us is causing us considerable damage. And there is no way that we are going to win this fight with that thing. So let's just... Uh, Let's just get a bit closer and see what this one does at the top. I'm guessing it's going to cut us to <laughs> cut us to pieces, in fact a million pieces. And oh, there we go, there is the technical which is just whipping away there. And yeah, that thing is that thing is pretty much dead. Oh there we go, there's the saw, it's sawing us away. Yeah. I noticed that oh hang on, there we go, that's what I was waiting for. I was trying to see about damage, so this thing did get hit, and you can see it's now got marks all over it, so you've got like pipes that have bent and buckled, there's holes in it there. But it doesn't look like there's any areas where it can um Oh, good grief. There we go. Uh it doesn't look like there's any areas where you can get inside it, which makes perfect sense. Um we were destroyed, but we did manage to destroy one of the other one, the Tentacube. <laughs> You've got Beam Cube, Saw Cube, and Tentacube. Um... <laughs> That tickled me a little bit, Tentacube. Yeah, fair enough. Um, we destroyed that by... I say we destroyed it. It was destroyed by our corpse landing on top of it and it going down. Back onto airships then. And what have we got? We've got things like the wasp. We've got the woodpecker, which the woodpecker may work, but I doubt it. We've got the test bed one, which is where we tried out these uh, mechanical tentacles. We've got the goldfinch. We've got the bluebird. That might be a good contender. And then we've got some of these other ones that have been pre-made. We've got the... What is that? The acrid stench, the falcon and then the bat. Um, something high level would probably function, however with the lasers we may have some problems. So I'm going to probably put in the bluebird. I think that is the probably the best chance we have in defeating this. I'm going to target the one at the back with the laser because I think we can outmaneuver these. So it's firing away and the problem is that um, shots fired uh, from left to right are less accurate. Okay, what I want to do is then go past these things then. So I'm going to reduce, uh, I'm going to go down a little bit there and I want to just go straight past them. So I'm just going to use our, not in considerable speed, it's not the slowest thing that we've ever made, but it's also not the quickest. And I want to make sure that we are firing 
uh, from right to left. Uh, you can still see that we are able to fire, which is pretty good. This thing has not yet fired for a little while, so I'm wondering what's going on there. Um, I actually am going to order it to turn around there so we can still make shots. There we go, and I'm going to keep backing up. My objective is to make sure we can keep behind as much as possible. Um, these are still coming towards us. It's also crashing into some trees. They seem to be quite heavy and quite lumbering beasts. Uh, this one is also damaged. Um, they can obviously turn around. There you go, that is now turned around. They obviously can turn around. They're just uh, having some mechanical issues, I would imagine. Uh, I'm going to continue heading back over because this one is getting close. And if that just spins around and starts chopping, then we may uh, suffer a bit of an unwanted detonation. Most, to be fair, most detonations are unwanted, I would assume. Anyway, uh, not the enemy. Uh, this one is just absolutely chewing through trees. This thing's actually turned vegan. Um, it's, it's just noshing through all of these trees here, so uh, good for it. Um, sadly, we are uh, out for metal. That's our, that's our prey here and our food at this stage. A bit of a long-range attack. Uh, I am going to probably get munched by this thing. I think that the suspendium chamber is somewhat overheating. Um, you can see we are burning from stem to stern, and luckily, you saw there that I think we've just destroyed that thing, and we managed to take it out. Luckily, uh, for them, though, I have just been basically burnt to a crisp, and there's nothing I can really do. I don't know why we're not putting the fire out. Oh, we're completely out of water, that's why. Okay, um, let's leave that then and exit combat. I'm going to go back over to those three cubes and click play. Over to add ship and... Oh, this is land ship. Can we do it with a land ship? Uh, we've got a llama. Uh, we've got a strider. I'll tell you what, we'll put a llama in against it. Put the llama in... Oh, actually, no, the llama would be terrible because it can only fire there. That is next to useless. Uh, we'll go, okay, we'll go to airship once again then. And down to the bluebird. Is there anything else we can fit in? Not for six points we can't. Although I may do... A bit of a retrofit. My plan, if I need to, is to retrofit this thing with some more, um, maybe more armor. Although it's armored quite well, most likely I'm going to retrofit it with a bit more water, <laughs> because these two I'm, I can outmaneuver them, so I'm fine with that. But this one, not so much. I also noticed that this thing is. It's not great when it comes to its um, orders. I don't know whether that's a deliberate decision, um, that it's quite slow on the ordering. Um, ah, that is possible. Because it, it's, I'm sure it's themed uh, in such a way that it said it's like, it's, it's controlled by clockwork mechanisms and things like that. So it may be that it actually doesn't have very good command, so it, you can't order it to go back and forward and turn around and do all these things because, it, well, it just doesn't have the ordering available. I'm going to try and go straight underneath this, although this is, as you can see, a lumbering beast, um, and it's just got itself stuck, and basically I think I'm going to be fairly screwed now because I can't get past, although, oh no, will we be okay? Um, yes, we have managed to take out... That thing there. Okay, this is good. Um, let's just turn around. Don't get close to the tentacle. It's gonna. No, 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 no. Bad, 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 bad. Go straight past. Keep going, please. Okay, it did get a couple of attacks in. And I'm uh, ashamed to share that I was ashamed, ashamed to share. I am ashamed to say that that was my fault. Um, why have I put that on fire? Uh, focus on moving, please. Um, I want to move and then flip that there, flip it there, and then start firing. If I can take out one of them, then I should be fine. Um, there you go. So yeah, I think I think it is an ordering thing that basically, if you keep attack, if you keep mo moving around, they don't have the orders to uh, to re-engage and move around quickly. That seems to be the case. I don't know whether it is or not. Let's test the theory. So I reckon it's ordered itself to move there. If I move further back, it should stop here. Is that going to happen? It stopped there where we were. I think that is actually the case. Okay. I'm also hoping... Let me put on the fire. And to rapid fire. Oh, hang on. It's It got more orders. I'm going to move up. And I'm going to move along. Yep, oh, one of them's been taken out. It's been taken out. So if we can get up and over, even though we are firing from left to right. Oh, look, it's, it's trying to grapple. It's trying to grapple. It is successfully hitting us. There we go. Um, let's just spin around here. I think this is a win. 
I'm fairly confident this is a win now. Let's just go for aimed fire. Um, oh, no. Back, 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 back. <laughs> Say fairly confident it's a win. Let's not get overconfident at all. Um, yeah, it's the ordering thing. They're very tough. You can't board them by the look of it. Although I haven't tried. I don't have anything cheap enough to try to board that. That's a curious beverage. Um, and because of their composition, you've got two melees and one long ranged. I guess, yeah, they're, they're quite difficult to hard counter. This seems to have done quite well. Although I do think the Bluebird is probably one of the best vessels we've ever made. It's reasonable in its speed. It's very good in its armor. And the weapon is amazing. The only downside is it doesn't have much water. It's not under crew, but it's only got the minimum. That's a win. Um, and its service ceiling is terrible. <laughs> if it gets boarded, it also goes down as well. There you go. That's a Vic and Terry. Both together. Exit combat. Let's try that again. Uh, we'll probably give it another go with something else. So add in airship. We've got, we tried the Bluebird, that was very good. We've got the Acrid Stench. Actually, you know what we'll try? We'll try the Wasp, maybe. Try loads of Wasps. One, two, three, four, five, six. Overpointed, close, okay. Start the fight. Um, and just start, you <laughs> where are some of those going? It's absolutely ridiculous, isn't it? We'll go for um, aimed fire. Um, and, oh, one of them's already been taken out, pretty much. There you go, there's the myriad of shots going out. I am going to tell these guys to move forward to there. My job is to take out this beamy one. There we are. Good shots though, and good damage across the board. But you notice that, um, well realistically, <laughs> we are losing far more than we can afford to lose. Although once this beamy one is over, I really need to issue some orders on here quickly, get past it, because that could fall out the sky at any moment. In fact, probably the swing round now will take it out. There it is. Okay, exactly what I expected. Cool. Good. How are we for... How are we for ammo? Each one has got... Oh, we're only half ammo, but we are on to an aimed fire. So, let's continue attacking. We'll attack the tentacle one. Um, I made a mistake. I've issued orders, and we can't get out of their fire. So, not only are we getting uh, cut to ribbons on the ground by the one that's uh, stopped... Oh, that's destroyed. It's gone. Uh, yeah, we're getting cut to ribbons. Let me go ahead and... I'm going to ram. I don't know why I'm shooting a ram. It can't move at all. <laughs> it's going to get cut to bits, and the other one is uh, not doing too well either. Oh, we, oh we, can't, we can't move that one. No, we can't move that one. I was going to say, it's got a sail on it. It should be able to move. There you go. Okay. Uh, it is, however, burning, so that's going to be gone. Yeah, I think a little bit of a misplay there in a couple of places, but hopefully we'll still be able to win. We probably are going to run out of ammo, though, before anything else. No, we've won it, and that was actually easier than the Bluebird. Okay, so this is very possible. It is very possible. We've had two wasps, three, three wasps being destroyed, technically. Two destroyed, one no crew, and the other two survived, and then the beam cube... Saw cube and tentacube <laughs> are now destroyed as well. Okay. Uh, let's have another look. Let's see what else we can play against. Uh, we'll go with airships. And I want to try ramming. Uh, we're going to try the woodpecker. Um, sadly, the woodpecker has got the worst service ceiling of most things. The idea for this thing was it, it rams... Oh, there we go. There we go. That's coming into range. Um, this thing rams and it's for ramming uh, structures. Are we just going to miss it? We are just going to miss it. Okay. The advantage is that we can quickly flip round because hopefully this will initiate an order to go down. Although I doubt it. Um, so let's see. It's just going to turn around, isn't it? Yeah, it's just going to turn around. Okay. So... It's not silly, these tenter cubes. Oh, the, sorry, the, the, the cubes here. We're going to have to... Move back over. Problem with the tenter cube... Just rammed into each other. Fair enough, that's good for me. Going to get underneath. Yes! Good ram, good ram. 
Okay. It's trying to reach for us. It's oh. <laughs> of all of the things it could have taken out, it took out the uh, the engine. Let's try that again. That's potentially doable. I did another ship. We'll put one wasp in. Can we add another one? No, nothing cheap enough. Okay, start the fight. Let's ram over to there. It's wallowing up and down. Okay. I am ramming it. Just not ramming with the spikes on the front, which is obviously what does the damage. A little bit more service ceiling would be alright. Ramming speed to there. Oh, no, this is span round again. Speed, speed, speed. Oh, the tent cube. It's in ramming range. What I'm trying to do is to bait this in. Because I want it coming towards me at speed. And I want to go at it at speed. Here we go. Here we go. No, it's wallet. Good ram. Good ram. Pull back. Nope, we're actually dragging it now. Let's go up here. And ram. Go, 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 go. It's looking good. Perfect hit. Perfect hit. Pull back. Pull back. Nah, lost all momentum. We lost all motive power. It's gone. It's drifting. It's drifting. <laughs> uh, I know. <laughs> I was about to land it and tell it the board stuff, but... We can't do that either. Um, actually, we can't tell the ball. We can just tell it to abandon. But yeah, okay. Fair enough. One more airship then. Um, what's this one? Is this boarding? Uh, Deathly Wind. It's got... It's got marine barracks. Can one board them? One, two. This is not mine. Start the fight. Boarding action on... Th no, see that? You can't initiate... You, right, you can't do a boarding action. You can't give boarding actions. So that's settled that. I didn't think you could. Uh, three cubes. What may defeat these quite well? Obviously not boarding. But anything with... Aeroplanes. I don't know if the technical can attack an aeroplane or not. I'm not sure. Hmm. Let's bring a test bed one in. Start the fight. Let's go over there. This is... This is a bluebird that we then put these two tentacles on just for just to try it. Just to see what the weapons were like. There we go. We're knocking on uh, the underside of this thing. <laughs> I love it. Just dunk, dunk, dunk. <laughs> just tapping away there. I've told it to turn around. It's moving off. Okay. We'll get closer then. So I would say that the most... I think the way to win these, uh, to beat them should I say, win against them, is to... is to use their... poor command against them. Outmaneuver them. Because, you know, these two are, these two are melee. Once you've moved off... They're still within command. They're still they're still waiting for the commands to come in. They're still on cooldown, essentially. That's what it feels like. It's another close in looking at that. Oh yeah, it's got. It's got. Well, it was a fan spinning around, different pipes. There was something there that was doing some weird sequencing. Look at that there, like energy flow. Let's move back. Oh, good. Trapped between two cubes. Oh, my oh, darn it. Yeah, okay. That one broke, and it just it just immediately fell out of the sky. Okay, there you go. We must admit defeat. Yeah, I guess we do. There's a defeat there. Mm. I mean, I don't know what else we could really put against it. Like I said, I think the way to do it is to outmaneuver it and use their commands against them. Ramen could probably work. Uh, the wasp certainly worked. The sparrowhawk would be useless. The owl would probably work, but it's too expensive. Only by a little bit, though. Maybe removing the bottom part would fix it. Uh, the honeybee would be amazing, but it's also ridiculously expensive. Herring gull. 
Now, high-level bombing would function probably very well if you took the beam one out. But I don't actually know what their service ceiling is. Um, what else have we got? The Heron. Um, that would be probably useless, although they are quite slow moving. The gold, uh, the greenfinch, not so bad. Bumblebee, all right. We've tried out the bluebird, and the goldfinch bluebird was very good. But yeah, I think probably anywhere to maneuver around them, and also probably aeroplanes. The aeroplanes would maybe work quite well. I'm just going to go over to leave there and to edit, and I want to see. Hang on, that's the wrong one. Uh, three cubes and then edit. And I want to uh, try these out. Oh, I deleted it. Uh, add monster. So this is where we can see a lot of the monsters in the game. All the monsters in the game. Uh, and we can see their stats. So, for example, the shell walker. There, there is that. Um, although, sadly, it doesn't tell me... It doesn't tell me, like, any of the... Any of the stats on it. I don't know if there's a way to tell the stats. Uh, add monster. Is it just called a cube? No. <laughs> you can add all these beehives and dragons and gargoyles. Oh, firecracker. Uh, oh, fleshcracker, sorry. That's the name of that one. Giant plant. We've seen that in the campaign. We've seen some of these. Mecha squad, yeah. Moon disc. I've never seen that before. Pirate flagship. That's very, very, um... Very Battlefleet Gothic Orcish. There's a saw cube. Tenta cube. Yeah. But there you are. Either way, um, that was quite fun. That was very fun. I would suggest, yeah, if you want to go and defeat it, jump in, have a go at it. We've managed to do it successfully a couple of times there with the Bluebird and also with some <laughs> gratuitous application of rockets. Some of the other stuff didn't work. Would like to try out some, maybe, planes or something. This might be where just a dedicated, lightly armoured carrier would come in handy. But obviously you'd have to focus down on uh, specific ones first. Either way, that's a little, it's been a little bit of a look at Airships Conquer the Skies and one of the new monsters for, I'm guessing, this Halloween. Uh, so, hope you enjoyed that. If you want to see more, by all means, let me know if you have any suggestions for different builds we could have used, any different uh, orders or commands we could have uh, made in order to be, make that defeat easier, then by all means, let me know. And also, let me know like for uh, just different designs that you have in mind or you would like to see, and uh, we may get around to that. Either way, hope you have enjoyed it. Thanks very much for watching. Take care, and generic partings.